Welcome back YouTube to the Fowler Corner YouTube channel. I'm Matt out here at the farm today with my new to me 1946 Farmall M. Today uh, I've had it about a week now. I've played a little bit around, let it run for an hour or two around here this last week. And today we're going to go ahead and do an oil change on it. I've got a new can a filter for it, eight quarts of oil, and so uh, let's get after it. We don't know the last time it was changed, uh, as I, I don't know that the guy that owned it before me had ever changed it. So let's give it an oil change and uh, we'll see where we're at. Okay, for today's oil change, what I'm going to use for the oil is the Shell Rotel T4 triple protection. I've been told this has a lot of zinc in the extra additives for these old engines. I'm also going to use a Baldwin PT70 filter for it, and this kit does come with the O-ring to go in here, the new O-ring gasket seal. So that'll be the filter we use. And I'm also just not knowing the life of this engine and what's happened to it, I'm also going to put in a, some of the STP oil treatment just to know that it's got the, the lubricants to help with the cam and all that in here on these old engines as these were not engines built to work with modern oils that we're seeing now with a lot of the synthetics and whatnot. They want all of the dinosaurs as Derek from Vice Grip Garages would say. So that's what we're going to try for today and uh, just get it serviced so that we know we can trust it out here all winter. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is come in here, just got an old five gallon bucket. This should have eight quarts of oil, so two gallons of oil in it. So we're going to get it drained here. If you've never worked on an old farm all, what these have is two pet cocks to change, check the oil level. The bottom one to let you know it's full and the top one here to know when you need to quit filling. So you loosen that and it starts to run out when you know it's full. So I'm pretty sure there's two gallons of oil out here and the wind is absolutely outrageous today. So we're going to try not to splash it on the GoPro that I guess I put downwind and here and uh, try to hit the bucket with it. Got the crescent wrench out here. So get it broken loose down here. And I'm going to try to take it slow just to see what we see comes out of here first. Make sure there's no moisture, water, condensation, that type of thing in it. I don't think there should be. But... The wind is really gusting out here today. Yep, and it's showing that it's all pretty good oil. Didn't see any water come out there with it. That was every bit of two gallons in there, so it might have been a little overfull actually. Okay, so we've let it drip for a while. Got the plug all clean. Gonna go ahead and thread it back in before we forget to. finger tight in there. Go ahead and give it just a little bit of torque on the wrench. Not too bad. There we go. Okay, so now it's time to come up top here and change the oil filter here in the oil filter housing. As you saw earlier when I was introing the video, it's a cartridge type filter that lives in here with an o-ring down in here. Now typically you could take this plug out and drain the filter cavity right here. Well, this has been stripped off so many times that's going to take a little bit of work with some vice grips and stuff to get out and I really just don't want to tear that up today to get started here and just give it a quick service. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the crescent wrench, open this, get the bucket somewhere underneath this. There's going to be a fair amount of oil in it still and try to hit the bucket with it as much as I can out here in the wind. Uh, so I guess we're just going to get started. Again using just the adjustable crescent wrench on it. Well, that came loose pretty easy there. So, just gonna take it loose here. It's got a bolt down through the center of it that holds it on. Again, I've never had this one open on this tractor, so. Okay, had to budge it loose there. Not too bad on the oil front, actually down in it. So, what you see is it's just this filter right here in it. It's been changed relatively recent. There's a digital printout on the side of the filter, so it has a clue to help give that away. 
Just giving it a good look over, see if there's any secrets there. See if we see anything we don't necessarily want to see in the oil filter, but a little bit of dirt. But again, that's why the oil filter's there. So I'm just gonna set that in the bucket for now. And uh, always important to have the shop rags here on this. I'm gonna do my best to come up in here and just try to wipe all the dirt out of this spot and away from it. Just the grease built up. Okay, time to get the new filter out. Here it is in the box. Got the gasket with it here. We're gonna put the filter back in here for a second. Just gonna take the gasket, just fit it in here just to check it. Okay, I'm gonna take just a little bit of oil out of it, just to lube it up here. Okay, then I'm just gonna put it in this seat right around here. Now it's time to pull the filter out. Filter out of the box. Okay, gonna drop it. Actually gonna put it in here in the filter and uh, actually surprising enough, this isn't that old of a filter. Its manufacturing date was 10-21-2021. So, I'll say that's pretty good. Again, just try to get everything lined up with the gasket and the seal. Checking around the back there. Get it good and tight on here. So the oil changes on the H's and the M's are honestly the same. What I'm gonna do is come down here, I'm gonna open this pet cock like I talked about earlier so I know when I'm full, it's gonna start trickling out there. And then to add oil, we turn this cap off right here at the top. And this is where we add oil to the engine. Now that I've got the first gallon in, I'm gonna go ahead and add the oil treatment in now. Give it a good shake. And this stuff is very, very thick. Like pouring a syrup in. Time to go with the second gallon. I'm hoping we don't have to get the full thing in here, but it should be close. I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on the pet cock down there too, just to see if we see any start to run out. And there we go, we start to have a trickle come out, a drip run down. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off and quit dumping oil in. Take my rag and wipe this off real good put the cap back on. I can see where there's some condensation formed in here. I got it pretty good and warm on Sunday out here just a couple days ago. So close that down and that is the oil change. So we'll give it a start here in a second. Make sure we have good oil pressure and uh, check it out.